So I went to Hobby Lobby and I been wanting to clip it up for some time already, but I just didn't want to spend the amount of money on a clip it up for, you know, what it was going to do. Basically, it's just going to spin. It's going to allow me to see all my stickers, stamps, whatever I want to go ahead and put on it. Um, so I found this and it was $34.99 regular price. When I went to Hobby Lobby, everything for their paper from the paper studio line for organizing was 50% off. So I went ahead and picked it up for $17.50 plus tax. Um, basically, it's just as good as the clip it up. You just can't go ahead and put an additional tier on the top, which I don't mind if I wanted to go ahead and buy another one. I'd rather buy it for $17.50 than go ahead and purchase something for $40 or I don't know how much the top tier is for the clip it up. So basically this one says it's clip and spin organizer. Um, right here it says time saver, organizes products, spins for easy visibility, convenient access to products, um, maximizes storage space. And that it does. So the picture basically shows stickers, um, you know, and everything you can go ahead and put on it. So it just comes in the box. And then comes with pretty simple setup on how to organize it. I did it like in five minutes. This is just the back of the box. Um, those just basically gives you the specs on what to expect. It says Clip and Spin Organizer is a innovative solution for arranging and storing variety of scrapbooking and craft products. Use this creative organizer for embellishments, stickers, sheets, paper, cards, and more. Another easy to use storage product brought to you by the Paper Studio. This is mine. I went ahead and put just like my, these are stencils. These are cuddle bug plates, well embossing folders I should say. Um, here are some of my die cuts that I have. Um, some other ones. Then here's just a few stamps. I haven't been able to go ahead and put up everything. Um, but I mean it's pretty good. I, it comes with 75 clips too. I didn't say that on the box, but it comes with clips. Um, so instead of having to go and buy your own clips, it comes with about 75 of these. Don't quote me on that because it doesn't say it on the box. Yeah, it does. I like it. says so 75 metal clips. So basically this is it. I love it. I mean, I put it over here on my storage rack, on my paper rack. Um, I just put it on top. I normally just, I need to cover this with something, but that's where it would go just on top side of my paper. Um, so this is what I did because uh, I seen on somebody else's YouTube video about um, how they got DVDs, um, plastic, plastic folders where you put your DVDs in and then you would be able to go ahead and just cut it and make it in two and then hang it the other way and it would be as long as this. I couldn't find those anywhere at my Target or at my Walmart, um, Staples, and something like it, but not exactly what I seen. I only saw them on eBay and I didn't really wanna wait for it. So I got these, these are Avery Mini uh, clear sheet protectors. Um, I got them at Staples. There's about, I believe like 10 in a pack, I believe. Um, they work just as good. So what I do is I just put my folders and everything in here so I wouldn't have to put the full plastic folder in. I cut what the actual folder would look like as well as the um, the name of it, like this one, Swiss Dots. Let me see if my camera will focus. Um, this one's Swiss Dots, so I just cut the little top piece and put it in there. I'll probably tape it to the top corner or whatever. But then um, I put two of them in there. So I put one in the front and then I put one in back just so it's easier for me to go ahead and view and see which ones I actually have instead of actually having to go and guess and look online. I'm glad I didn't throw away everything, such as the cover sheets, because I'm glad I took it off and put it in here. So at least this way I can go ahead and see what this embossing folder would be. Um, when I'm done with 
my when I you know these of course I just go ahead and clip it up as I get them and I haven't really used any of these stamps yet but what I did go ahead and do is for like this birthday one I mean my mom a birthday card and I couldn't really continue to take it in and out of this plastic sheet this sticky part just wasn't getting really sticky anymore so I just ended up going you know I'm probably gonna eventually convert all the stamps into um, the plastic Avery protector sheets I did the same thing with the stamp I went ahead and just cut the top name of it so I know um, and then same for my clear blocks these I got um, they're thin ones they're Michaels uh, I didn't get really the thick thick ones um, but I put these in there and then these are just like my foam stickers this one I converted into an Avery bag uh, plastic sheet because they were previously in these foam sticker ones and once I cut this, it's not like I could reseal it or anything, so I just went ahead and did these to these two. Um, but overall, I really, for seventeen fifty, I really can't complain. Um, it holds my die cuts, my stamps, my stencils, um, you know, my foam stickers. If I do make more foam stickers, I can just go ahead and convert it into a Avery plastic sheet and go from there. Overall, I mean, it's pretty good. Again, it was only like seventeen fifty at Hobby Lobby. And the one thing I wanted to say is Hobby Lobby doesn't really carry a lot of one product. They carry probably, I saw one, and I normally go like every once a week just to go how to make sure I see all that's there and what's available. Um, but there was only one there. When I went back, I didn't even see another one. So I don't know if you can order online at Hobby Lobby, but you might want to just check other Hobby Lobbies or... Um, just keep your eye out. I mean, it's seventeen fifty. I don't really think you can beat that. And they don't have one at Michael's, like a recollection brand or anything. So, yeah, that's the clip and spin organizer.